Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. Today was just one of those days I was so, so, so desperate to film a video today and I didn't have anything planned so I literally just grabbed my Morphe palette, my 35B Morphe palette and I just started doing colorful shit to my face and this is what I came up with and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I feel like this is such a wearable look for an everyday wear, church, um, school, anything like that. Like you can be popping with this makeup look 24 7 you know what i mean so yeah if you want to learn how to create this beautiful 50 shades of blue makeup look then just please keep on watching so first things first i'm going to apply moisturizer this is the cetaphil moisturizing cream next i'm going to use this smashbox photo finish primer i do love this stuff so much and i do apply this on my t-zone area first that way it can cover up my pores and fine lines next i'm going to go in with my Too faced born this way foundation i have recently just started using this as you guys have seen me do on my videos and i have become obsessed this foundation is buildable next i'm going to use this um anastasia beverly hills concealer in 1.0 and the tarte creases concealer and i'm just going to apply this underneath my eye area and on my t-zone area as well if you're not a fan of thick concealers i don't recommend neither of these but they are extremely thick and i absolutely love them i am a big fan of lighting underneath the eye area and i do love me some extra coverage as well so you don't, definitely don't have to use as much as I do, but it's just the way that I like doing it. So now I'm just going to blend with my Beauty Blender, Damp Beauty Blender. Make sure your Beauty Blender is damp. That way it can blend flawlessly into your skin. Now I'm going to contour the face and I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in caramel. I love this stuff so much. I don't really like using these foundations for actual foundations. Uh, maybe because it's not like super full coverage. So that's another reason why I don't really like these for foundation. But they work good for contouring. And I'm just going to blend everything out with my e.l.f. stippling brush. Now I'm just going to set everything out with my Laura Mercier Translucent powder like this shit makes miracles like if you don't have this in your fucking life you need to go fucking get you one because this shit is amazing you guys like what the fuck are you waiting for go get you one like right now Now I'm just going to warm up my face with my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. You guys know I love this stuff so much. I use this in like all of my videos. Now to contour the face, I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to use that blush to contour the face. Next, I'm going to grab that banana shadow from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just going to clean up underneath the contour and just blend out any harsh lines. This is a great tip if you want to blend your contour out but really don't want to ruin it with like a stippling brush or anything like that. So I do recommend this powder as your blending weapon. Now I'm going to go in with this blush from the Tartese palette the first edition palette and I'm just going to blend this all over my cheeks and I'm going to do my nose and eyebrows off camera you guys know the drill now I'm going to go in with my 35b palette from morphe and I'm taking that white shade from the palette and I'm going to apply this on my brow bone and this is just going to lift and highlight the brow bone Next, I'm picking up this like teal shade and I'm just going to use this as my transition color. I will be listing all of the names of the brushes right here on the screen as you probably guys already saw. That way I can remember the names because I don't remember them right now. But I am going to start blending this out. I'm first going to apply this on the outer corner and then working this into the crease and into the inner corner just a little bit. Now we're going to highlight the face really quickly because somehow I forgot like really ready what are you doing so i am going to be using strobe and stunner strobe and stunner from that palette now we're picking up this blue shade from the 35b palette from morphe and i'm going to be using the same brush i am going to pack this on into the outer corner and into the crease you can build these eyeshadows as much as you guys want i do like to build mine a lot more because i really want the eyeshadows to stand out
Now picking up this dark blue shade, I'm going to repeat the same process, apply this on the outer corner and then drag the rest into the crease and inner corner. Now picking up this black eyeshadow, we are going to apply this right on the outer corner, nowhere else. This is really going to define the whole entire makeup look, which is the reason why we only want this on the outer corner. Now picking up this teal shade, we're going to connect the top and bottom of the eyeshadow. And just we're just going to apply the teal shade on the lower lash line a little bit over halfway. I'll tell you guys why in a minute. Now we're going to go in with that blue shade again and do the same thing over like the teal shade as well as the black eyeshadow shadow and that dark blue now moving on to the lid I'm going to use snow from the mega pro 3 palette from Laura cosmetics and I'm just going to add a little bit of Mac fix plus to make the eyeshadow more pigmented something that I would have done differently for this makeup look is apply my soft ochre paint pot to cut the crease halfway through like I did on my previous video I think that would have made the eyeshadow and the whole entire look more defined but too late for that now now we're going to highlight the inner corner and I'm going to take these two from the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Gleam palette and now I'm going to apply Fix Plus because I really like the inner corner to be extremely pigmented and really, really, really highlighted. So that's my tip for making my inner corner super, super pigmented. Now we're going to take this flat brush and this is where I mentioned that I was going to show you guys what I was going to do. So I'm basically going to take the flat brush and instead of curving it into my inner corner, I'm just going to go straight out with it and I'm going to make two lines um, right underneath the inner corner and this is just going to open up the eyes a lot more. Since we're not using eyeliner today, I really want my eyes to stand out. So now we're just going to apply mascara really quickly before we apply our lashes. Now going back in with that black eyeshadow, I'm just going to apply this on top of the lash line just because we are going to apply lashes and I don't want that to look really weird without it. I feel like it does when I don't apply liners, so it is optional. You don't have to do this step, but I do love doing this um, step for my lashes. And for lips, I was going to do an extremely nude for this makeup look because I thought it would look really, really great with it. But you know what? I just stick to my natural habit. Um, you know, this is the same combo I always do. I can't get rid of it. So this is what I just did. I did apply Secret Agent, Bombshell, and then NYX Jumbo White Pencil on the center. I think this one really brought the look together because it really pumped up my lips a lot more. So, yeah. All right, you guys. So, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a lot of cool things. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will have everything that I use this um in this video list it down below for you guys as well as all my social media and all of that jazz so yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon